County. Now, the big problem is a continuing power outage. KTVU's Ali Rasmus is in San Mateo County right now. You have more information. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Dave. We just got an update from Cal Fire mm -hmm. on the Edgewood Fire, which is burning in San Mateo County. It's now 80% contained. That's of 6 o'clock last night, and those containment numbers may go up uh, overnight, and we're expecting to get another update from Cal Fire on what happened overnight here after 7 o'clock this morning. But the Edgewood Fire broke out uh, less than 48 hours ago on uh, Tuesday afternoon. It forced residents of the Emerald Lakes neighborhood to have to evacuate. The fire started in a canyon on the border of Woodside and Redwood City. CAL FIRE RESPONDED QUICKLY WITH RESOURCES ON THE GROUND AND IN THE AIR. SO THE FIXED WINGS CAME IN AND THEY PAINTED THESE LITTLE PINK LINES UP ALONG THE NEIGHBORHOOD AND DOWN THE RIDGES FOR US AND THE HELICOPTERS CAME IN AND TOOK CARE OF ALL THE FLARED SPOTS. YOU KNOW, IT'S JUST VERY FRIGHTENING. YOU HAD TO GATHER THINGS TOGETHER, IMPORTANT PAPERS AND THINGS LIKE THAT TO GET OUT OF YOUR HOUSE PRETTY QUICKLY. Now, at one point, there were about 3,000 PG&E customers in this part of San Mateo County without power. We did just get an update from PG&E just in the last 10 minutes, and that number has now been gone down to about 1,100 customers in the Woodside Redwood City area of uh, San Mateo County, still without power. And PG&E says they're having trouble getting access uh, to certain points of this fire so that they can reconnect the power to those remaining 1,100 people. Now, also affected by this power outage, Stanford University, they had to cancel their classes and their Day camps over the last couple of days because they were affected by this power outage. We're hoping to hear from them later this morning, but they still don't have full power restoration on that campus. But again, the latest on the Edgewood fire, it is now 80% contained, so firefighters have a good handle on this. We hope to get another update from them on their overnight progress in about uh, an hour and a half from now. Live in San Mateo County, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.